from both the Sobranes and Goose fires is creating an air quality issue for much of Northern California, including the Central Valley. CBS 13's Lisa Meadows is live in Sacramento with the Mobile Weather Lab to explain for us. Lisa? You know what, guys? This is the first time I've been out with a mobile weather lab, and I've actually been a little bit chilly. We're in Sacramento. You're noticing my hair. It's flying all over the place. We have quite a breeze. Winds are between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Now, that temperature, we're below 70. Temperature registering at 67, close to 68 degrees. And now that we've hit the nighttime, your relative humidity has come up. Overall, today was a very pleasant weather day, unless you're further off to the south. That's where your air quality index in the San Joaquin Valley into the south was unhealthy for sensitive groups, something a lot of people could see and also could feel. From Modesto, Stockton, even all the way into the Sacramento Valley, the skyline shows the same thing, smoke. The smoke from the Southern Airs fire has been filling our skies, but also wreaking havoc on our eyes and lungs. I myself, you know, I'm bothered from my eyes, you know, I don't have too much allergies, but, you know, I will get allergy symptoms, you know, runny nose and sore throat, and it's from so much stuff in the air. The fire has been burning in Monterey County, but with the southwest wind, the smoke has been traveling northeast, plaguing people through the valley and into the foothills. That family that I have asthma has suffered from that condition, and it's, you know, the air quality is the main reason why that's, that's what's causing that, and it's expensive, too, to get things like inhalers and stuff. Certain people are particularly sensitive to particle pollution. Those with asthma, lung disease, the elderly, and children should minimize time outdoors in these conditions. It's also recommended that you try to minimize your time outside with strenuous activity. With the temperatures that are going to be very comfortable coming up here this week, a lot of people probably want to get outside for that jog, but you want to make sure and minimize any type of heavy activity that you would be doing outside, including things like exercise. Now, this is going to continue into tomorrow. We do have that air quality alert continuing into Tuesday afternoon. Back to you. But nice to have a cool night out there for once. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks very much for that. Several